Hello friends, please be safe. Please be safe and stay at home. Thank you for watching my videos, subscribing my channel. Please share it with your network. Today, what we are going to do, we will download a sample shape file from a special data repository, and then we will unzip that shape file using Python. Then we will read the downloaded shape file, and then we will plot it in our console. So let's get started. So at first, I will go to Firefox, and then type Diva GIS. So it will take you to that Diva GIS website. So I'm interested to download a free spatial data. Click on free spatial data and then country level data. You can choose your country. As an example, I will choose Bangladesh. Then you can select like which type of uh, data you are interested in. So at this moment, I will download administrative areas data set. And, but you can try with your country. You can download Austria, you can download Bermuda from where you are, and it will take you to another page and then download. Yes, I want to download. So I have downloaded the administrative shape file of Bangladesh BGD underscore admin zip. So it's in my downloads folder. So here is the zip file, zip file that I have just downloaded. Now I'm going to read it using Python. Uh, at first, I will use width as loop to read that shape file and extract all the data file from zip file. Import Z is capital, IP is small, and then F is capital, and then ILE. So this kind of combination we call it camel casing. What I'm doing, I'm importing that zip file function from that zip file module. Okay, now I want to unzip that file, but before unzipping that one, I will copy that file, copy, and I will paste it to our geospatial Python folder here. So now I will go back here and have to define a variable called bgd equals, this is the location of my zip file, and then c geospatial Python and bgdadm.zip. This is the file. This is the location. You can copy it. So, and then you can see this is this is my zip file that I want to extract. So, this is the way I can define a variable of my zip file. Now, I'm going to use width as loop to unzip my zip file. How I can do it? Like a width, the module that I have already exported zip file, and then. I will put the variable name bgd, comma, and I will put a. Ah, a ah means read. So if you just type it, the help files will pop up and you will understand. Okay, zip file, file, file name is the zip file, and then the mode is a ah, because we are reading it. So and then I finish the bracket as a zip colon. If you press enter, it will take the indentation automatically. So be careful about the indentation as I have discussed this one in my previous video. If you happen to watch that, please go to my previous videos. What we are going to do, we are going to say like, okay, zip and then print the directory. First bracket and then enter and then print a statement which will be like a extracting all the files now after printing that one then I will extract all so I will call zip dot extract all this is the function you can see and it will tell you more detail about it and then I will say where I want to extract it so I will copy that link location and I'll paste it here, but I want to paste it in that location. Or if you want to create another folder, it's fine. So what I did, I say, with that zip file module, read this zip file as a zip file. So now this one is considering as a zip file. Then I'm saying, okay, now print the directory of zip file, then a print statement so that I know like what it is doing. And then extract all into that location. All inside that zip file will be extracted to C, geospatial, Python, and BGD location. We don't have anything like that. So now I will go 
this one will be done then i will say okay if it will be done print done so this is the way you can write it so now we have compiled our width i haven't executed a single line so what i will do i will go up here at the end of the line then i will press f9 so this line runs well and then i will go to the second line at the end of the line without selecting anything click f9 in our variable explorer is nothing because it's just a, like a location so it will tell you like a it's a location of this area so now you have to select the block of this code and then click f9 here you will see all the files name are popped up and then as we have typed that line here extracting all the files now so it was just writing that one and then done so because when it will be done then it will write done this is the way you can extract all the shape files because shape file also have some associated files so these are basically like a projection file database file some are index file we have already extracted all the files into our this location so now if you go to your directory and you will see okay one folder has been created and inside that folder you will see all the associated file now we are going to read one of the shape files because i can see we have a couple of uh, shape files so it's, it should uh, is a uh, it this imagine document because i'm using at this imagine so it's coming up as an at this imagine document but in your case it will be shape files so we can see like there are four shape files inside our directory so i will uncheck that one so why i'm saying it as a shape file if you right click it go to properties and then you'll see this one is dot shp which is a shape file developed by esri we're going to read that shape file so we need an ogr driver from our osgeo module ogr stands for opengi simple feature reference implementation ogr is inside osgeo so from osgeo module what we have already installed import ogr and then we will say at first we need to define the driver because in ogr there are many drivers so in our next video i will tell you how you know which drivers you have so at first we have to define a shape driver so i'm saying shape driver equals ogr dot get driver by you see it's coming up the function so you can click tab then it will come up all the things you don't need to type it and then inside that arguments i will type isri shape file so this is the line which will define the driver so we are saying maybe you can have t format you can have like a at this imagine format so you need to you need to set the driver in our next video we will discuss more about the drivers and which drivers you have so the next line is open the shape file shape data set equals shape driver dot open and then i will say copy this part open i want to open the shape file so i will copy this one and then this shape file copy so now we have already set our shape file or set our data set i'm telling the shape driver to open this shape file so the next line is i want to show it as a layer so you need to define it so it should be like a shape layer equals shape data set dot get layer and then first bracket so now the next line i'm going to get the spatial reference of this shape file so how i can get it like shape spt ref equals shape layer you can see the shape layer will come up automatically you can click tab you will get the whole word at once and then get spatial ref and then first bracket i want to print it in my console so that i will know which spatial reference so now i'll type shape spt ref so it will print the reference what i have done uh, i will give an overview with the first line i called ogr function from osgeo module and then i set a driver as the shape file 
and with the help of this driver I open my shape file because everything is a layer so we need to get a layer to show it and then I want to know the spatial reference of this layer you can see the driver will be here and then the driver we use to open a shape file and then we said okay we get a layer we still get a shape file so now I will execute the code line by line you will follow what we have done yes fine now we have the shape driver OGR driver is saying the type the next line yes we have the data source the data opened that file in the next line we are saying it's a layer ogr.layer the layer object of ogr module get spatial reference so it will tell you the spatial reference object of ogr.osr module and then print shape spt ref will tell you the projection of the shape file or the spatial reference of the shape file there are two types of coordinates one is like a geo projection another is projected one so we call it gcs and the projected one we call it pcs so here's we can see this one is a geo gcs like geography coordinate system and the datum is wgs1984 and the other details here so this is the way we can read a shape file we can open it as a layer and then we can read its inherent spatial reference you can also do it with fiona i can just show it to you with fiona how you can do that uh, but i will prefer this one this one is pretty basic but it will it will always give you the correct one so i'm going to import fiona and then uh, i'm saying a different variable so that i will not mess around with my previous variables so bt boundary equals fiona dot open and then uh, i want to open this file i want to copy this file copy the same file and then i'm just putting bd spatial ref equals bd boundary dot crs and then i'll say print bd space Spatial reference, spatial ref, that one. So now if I just run it line by line, so the first line, import Fiona, so I'm importing that one. The second line will create a variable and it will open the shape file. And in the third line, we just read the CRS. Then we just read the CRS. And in the next line, we will print and it is telling EPSG 4326. So what does it mean? So EPSG is European Petroleum Survey Groups. Uh, who has already defined the number for each of the uh, reference system or the spatial system reference how you can get it it will not come up like this so you need to find it out from a website so i'll go here so spatial reference.org so this is the site if you just search it here the epsg then it will tell you epsg 4326 so then it will come up with the, all the EPSG number. So you can directly type 4326. 4326, if you go here, so it is like, it will tell you all the details, the bounds, the projected bounds. And if you need a specific type like WKT or well-known text format as an HTML, you can click on it and it will tell you the exactly same thing that was popped up on our console when we just call that one so that I always recommend to use this uh, method rather than this method because it will give uh, but if you are an expert user it will not be a case so we already have read and get the spatial reference of our shapefile the next step is to plot our shapefile in our console so we have also installed another package it's called geopandas so import geopandas as I'm just giving it a name like a GPD it's always better to, you can just uh, reduce the number of elements with uh, like a uh, geopandas is always GPD now it's almost uh, universal so everyone use numpy as NP geopandas as GPD so you can follow this convention and then uh, I'm saying uh, I want to plot the Bangladesh extent BGD underscore ext I'm creating a variable and then I'm telling okay my geopanda uh, read a file so read underscore file is a function 
and then I'm, I need to define which file I want to read. I want to read this file, so I'll copy the whole thing so with, the, with the quotation marks, and then we need to plot it. The last step is plotting. This should be like a pgd underscore ext, and then dot plot full first bracket. I haven't executed the lines yet, so now go to import geopandas or gpd, put your cursor at the end of your line, and then F9. It ran properly. Do the same for the second line and then the third line. So when you run it, it will tell you it's using matplotlib subplots and you can see the extent of your desired country. So this is the way you can download a sample shapefile, you can unzip it with Python, you can read the shapefile, get its special reference and then can plot it in your console. And in the next video, we will discuss about the OGR drivers. So which drivers you have and what you can do. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share it with your network and please be safe.